Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Solve a Chemistry Problem. All right, so obviously there's a lot of different types of chemistry problems, and they're all going to require their own unique way of, sol of solving them, um, but there's some general good tips to follow. Basically, you want to remember what you learned in class. You know, you can't solve these problems without remembering a lesson that you learned and a specific way to solve them. Two, go slowly, step by step. And it feels like sometimes you're taking too long to solve and you want to get to the end, but it's not worth going fast through steps if you're going to get it wrong. And the third is to double check your work. Uh, double checking is really a great way to make sure you understand what's happening and that you've done it correctly. So I'm going to show you how I would solve a simple chemistry problem using these steps. And so I'm going to take the reaction of reacting hydrogen gas with oxygen gas that forms water. And let's say the problem for this guy is to balance this equation. Okay, so remember what you learned. Uh, in this case, you're going to have to remember what balancing means and how to do it. And so balancing is making sure that there's the same uh, amount of each element on the left side of the arrow as well as the right side of the arrow. Uh, so for our uh, purposes, we need to make sure the same amount of hydrogen is on both sides and the same amount of oxygen is on both sides. So now we're going to go slowly step by step. So let's start with uh, hydrogen. So there's two hydrogens right now on the left and there's two on the right. So hydrogen right now is balanced. So now let's go to oxygen. Oxygen, there's two of them, but there's only one on the right-hand side. So that means we're going to have to add a coefficient of two to before the water. And so now this is a part where we can really use number two. We're going slowly, and we're also going step by step, and we're kind of making sure we don't mess up. Since in our minds, we already balanced hydrogen, and we just balanced oxygen, you might be tempted to leave. But now remember that we have to check everything and now we actually have four hydrogens because there's two here and we have two waters, which means there's a total of four hydrogens. And we still only have two over here, which means we have to have a coefficient of two here. So now we're pretty much at step number three. We're ready to double check just to make sure we got everything right. So number of hydrogens on the left, number of hydrogens on the right, oxygen, oxygen. So hydrogens, one, two, three, four. Oxygens, two. Hydrogens, one, two, three, four. Oxygens, two. There, everything's balanced. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Solve Chemistry Problems.